Hi guys, welcome back. It's Lisa. Today I'm participating in my part three of the collab with Adrian over at Crafty Mom. And we're doing our home prep and today I am sharing with you a recipe that I'm going to be preparing for my family for Thanksgiving. And it's a non-traditional recipe. I'm going to be making an easy French apple tart. And so I have five Granny Smith apples here that I have washed. I'm going to be peeling those and also um, slicing them. And now that I've got the apples peeled, I'm going to go ahead and need to remove the cores from the apples and then go ahead and get them sliced. And you want to slice the apples about a quarter of an inch in thickness. And here I have some puff pastry. And I'm going to be rolling it out to about 10 by 13. And just arrange the apple slices um, in whatever pattern you'd like to arrange them. I'm just doing a simple uh, arrangement here on the pastry. And now that I've gotten the apples arranged, I'm going to be sprinkling the entire tart with about one quarter cup of granulated sugar. And then you want to use about three tablespoons of diced butter to place all over the apple tart. Once you've placed the butter all over the tart, you're going to be baking this in the oven at 400 degrees for 35 to 45 minutes. Once it comes out of the oven, go ahead and brush the entire tart with three tablespoons of melted apricot jelly. And this is just to glaze the tart and give it a nice shine. You do want to use jelly and not a preserve. You don't want large pieces of apricot on the tart. And there you have it guys. An easy to make French apple tart, perfect with coffee as a dessert. And I'd like to thank Adrian over at Crafty Mom for hosting this wonderful collab. And I'd like to thank each of you for stopping by a cozy casita. You're always welcome.